Okay, so hey guys, um, this whole entire week I've been at band camp. Um, well not like whole entire week, but like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> so basically just a normal school week, only it was all band camp. So yeah, um, I'm pretty tired right now. <laughs> but um, on Monday and Tuesday it was just sectionals, like they separated us into like different groups, like from 11 to 1, it was leaders, which I'm not because I'm a freshman, I'm not a senior. And yes, I'm a freshman, I'm 14 years old, if you guys didn't know, thank you and <laughs> goodbye. Um, I'll be 15 in November, but um, from 1 to 2 was brass players, so that means like low brass, and like such as um, mellophone, um, sousaphone, and then like high brass as well, which is like trumpet and such. Um, and then from 2 to 3, it was um, woodwinds, which was the time that I would go because I play clarinet. And woodwinds would be flutes, clarinets, um, saxophones, and I, I think that's about it. Um, <laughs> like alto sax and such. Um, and then from 3 to 5, it was drumline, but basically the drumline was there the entire time. <laughs> like, I would, like, look back, and it, off in the corner, they'd, there'd be, like, a few percussionists, like, talking to someone. I don't know, they were, like, there the entire time, but they didn't really do much. Um, and, like, that was Monday and Tuesday, and that was when we were, like, weren't marching yet or anything. Like, if we did march... It was barely any marching, and we were just outside, just learning how to forward march without instruments and such. Um, but we were just learning the different music that we had to learn and such. Um, and then on the 23rd, which was Wednesday, um, they separated us into new marchers and then all of the marchers. So, since I'm a freshman, I'm technically a new marcher. And I had to be there from 8 to 12, and then 5 to 9. So, like, I had to be there at, like, 8 a.m. to noon. I don't want to say 12 p.m. because you guys would be like, what? Sometimes people will just get those confused. But it was, like, 8 a.m. to noon, and then 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So I always went home super tired. And, like, I, the day before that, I didn't go to sleep until, like, 3 a.m. And... I, um, woke up at about 11, that's like, so waking up at like 6 a.m. for an 8 a.m. thing was always like, what? I was so tired. And then the next day, of course, after 5 to 9, I would have to go back 8 to 12, but, um, like, on Wednesday, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like, I don't have a script this time, so give me a break um but on wednesday like we were like it, um <laughs> like we were separated into like different sections of instruments so um the low brass would be over there the high brass would be over here the flutes would be there the saxophones would be there the percussionists over there and then the woodwinds were all the ways just kind of there <laughs> well not woodwinds what am i talking about clarinets were always just kind of there and i was like with the clarinets yes i play clarinet i don't know if i already said that <laughs> but um there were only like there's only like three new um, freshman clarinets who can actually march. There's one with a knee injury and she can't march yet. Um, oh gosh, my phone's freaking out. But, um, it's me, a guy, a girl, and then another girl, and the girl, like, that other girl has a knee injury so she can't march. But, um, the guy thought it would be a bright idea to take his clarinet and go march over, like, and join the low brass. <laughs> so, that happened. That was pretty entertaining, but, um... And then, like, the next day, like, after he went over and joined the, um, low brass, like, we decided that all of us would go over and join the flutes, and then, um, as soon as the phone even went over and joined the flutes, and, like, um, the leader was like, oh my god, there's a sousaphone in the middle of my flutes, and she took a picture of it, and everyone was like, what? And then, after we joined the flutes, we decided to go over and join the low brass again, and we were just joining, like, all the different sections. We were just all over the place, like, 
there was clarinets joining everyone, and then eventually I'm pretty sure, like, everyone except for, like, the saxophones and trumpets and percussion were, like, all in a group, and we were just marching drills together, and the band directors didn't even care. They were like, oh, as long as we're doing something, you know. <laughs> it was so fun. Like, all those days, we were just kind of bonding with the leaders, like, not really bonding with each other, but we were just kind of being there, like, and both the guy just thought it would be a great idea to start, like, being all buddy-buddy with the leader, and he starts clapping along with her and such. I don't know. He, he, like, really clings to her. It's funny. But, um, on Thursday, um, we had, um, the morning, which was new marchers, 8 to 12, and then, um, we had 2 to 3, which was back to sectionals, instead of just being, like, all of the marchers, and, like... So, um, we, like, um, we were, it was all clarinets, just kind of there, like, with wood, all the other woodwinds, and we were learning some music, and then we would go outside and do a little bit of marching, I think, I don't know, no, that, that, that day we just didn't, um, we just learned music, but I made a few friends, like, I made a friends, I made friends with a senior who, um, plays trombone, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't choose a clarinet, but, <laughs> um, he's pretty cool, um, and then I made friends with a, another guy who, um, is a great ahead, um, and he plays clarinet, so yeah, he plays second clarinet, which is what I do, since it's, like, ten times easier, <laughs> but, um, I just kind of be like, hey, what is this note? Help! <laughs> he's just kind of there, helping me all the time. <laughs> I, like, I had his number for, like, years, and I had no idea, so I found, like, I was looking at my phone, and I was like, I have his number. So on Friday, I started, like, spamming his phone, like, during sectionals. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, like, um, Friday wasn't really sectionals, it was all the marchers, five to nine, but, um, since all the freshmen were, um, actually marching and, like, getting all the stuff down, um, our band director thought it'd be a good idea to change the 8 to 12 on Friday to 10 to 12, so I felt 10 times better when we did that, um, <laughs> it just made me feel better. That's my brother's alarm, if you can hear that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, um, on Thursday, I'm pretty sure I heard, like, it was either Wednesday or Thursday, I can't entirely remember, but I'm pretty sure I heard, like, um, the senior I made friends with and another guy, like, they, they were like, caw, 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 and I was like, why, why was he do that in front of me? <laughs> but, um, I think I might have had, like, one person come up to me and be like, I recognize your voice. Are, are you called games? I was like, what? Nah, not at all. <laughs> Honey, are you crazy? <laughs> You're a funny person. Um, so yeah, that was a thing. Um, and then um, I was leaving on Friday and um, the senior trombone player was poking me in the back with his trombone he was just like hey hey and I was like what are you doing and he said I, I didn't do it and I'm like your trombone is hitting me in the back and he's like no 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 I, that trombone did it not me and I'm like you're in control of that you know and he was like hmm. and then as we were walking out the door um he started like meowing and I was like what? <laughs> he was like meowing one of the band songs and I was like so you're a cat now and he's like yeah you'll learn that later and I'm like I'm a cat too but I'm a more of a kitten and then I started meowing like making my cute little <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> and um the clarinet player who I'm friends with he was just like oh that's adorable <laughs> like um the trombone and the Constantly, like, hi, how's it going? You're really tall. 
um, and the clarinet player, I'm constantly just up to him, just like jumping, trying to get to his height. He's like, he keeps doing that, but it's not going to help anything. But I was just like, oh, stop being calm. And he's like, I can't help it. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I just lost my train of thought. Um, but he's just like, that's not going to help you get any taller. And I'm like, stop being tall then. He's like, I can't. I'm like, well, I'm not supposed to grow anymore. I'm 5'1", and my top height's supposed to be 5'3", but I haven't grown in two years. And he's like, that's not much of a difference anyway. And I'm like, I know, but still. And he's like, aw, don't worry. You're perfect just the way you are. And I'm like, yeah, thanks for trying to make me feel better. <laughs> but yeah, just, just, I'm too short. I don't get it, man. <laughs> but I've actually been picking up on a lot of like um, the steps and the notes a little bit for different songs and such. Um, there's actually um, one day that, I think it was Wednesday, um, we had to do a drill routine, like, every single different section, like, trombones, or, not trombones, like, low brass, high brass, um, clarinet, saxophones, flutes, it was all separated like that, and, um, we had to do all the same drill, and just perform it in front of everyone, and then they, they had, like, four teachers, like, the two band directors and two, um, um, people who did like made who were in charge of majorettes and such. Um, like they were judging who did the best, and clarinets actually won that. Um, that was amazing because that drill is literally drilled into my head now. I'm I'm so punny. But <laughs> it was like a complicated ish drill for freshmen, and we like we won in the. All the clarinets were like, clarinets finally won something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we were given ice cream bars because of that, though that was cool. I didn't finish mine, so I just gave it to my friend who plays the mellophone. She was like, I love you. <laughs> she was so thankful. And then, um, I think it was on Thursday, um, my mom... Uh, yeah, it was on Thursday. My mom was working until 1, and I got off at 12. So, like, and my brother was at home sick, and my dad was working. So, I had no ride home, so I just kind of sat there at, um, at the school for, like, an hour after. And I, like, made, um, some of my friends stay with me. I made my friend who plays the mellophone, um, she, she was, like, Oh, you have to stay after? Well, I walk home. I'll stay with you. And, she, like, she only had an hour until she had to go to her sectional since she was a horn, but, um, since she was a brass player, but, yeah. And then I made another brass player stay with me. He plays trombone. He's in my grade. A lot, like, all these people were in my grade. Um, he stayed with me because I, like, texted him the night before, and I was like, I don't, I have to stay after school. Will you stay with me? <laughs> Well, I have to stay after band, and will you stay with me at the school? And he was like, yeah, sure. And then, um, a per like, two of the percussionists in my grade stayed, too, and they, those two guys were, uh, they, <laughs> they didn't care too much. And then when my mom finally came, I just kind of walked away from the two percussionists. Um, the, um, the mellophone player and the trombone player were already inside because they had to go in for brass at one to two. And then I just went in the car. My mom brought me Taco Bell. Um, the two percussionists were like, she's not coming back. And they left. No, so I just ate Taco Bell and then I took a nap for like 45 minutes. And I was like, uh, and my mom hit me in the leg like three minutes before I had to go in. And she was like, you have to go in now. And I'm like, I want to take a nap though. Because I literally just fell asleep in the car. It was, <laughs> I was so done. I'm so tired. But, um. And this morning, um, it's Saturday, as I'm recording this, and it's Saturday when I post this, I woke up at, like, 7, and I was like, why? Because I always had to wake up at 6 so I could straighten my hair, and then that only took, like, half an hour, and then it only took me a half hour to get completely ready, and then I, it only, I had to leave at, like, 7.30 to get there by 8, so I just took a nap uh, from, like, 6.30 to 7, so... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty much how band camp's been going this week. Um, 
I've actually kind of liked it because of the people I'm there like, who surround me. Like, I like the band community. I don't, I don't know. I really like bands. I just don't like being like in band and marching in front of people and stuff. But I like the people who are there. I don't know. It's rare for me to actually like people. But the band geeks here are a cool bunch of people. <laughs> um, next week I have to wake up at 8 a.m. again. But I don't have anything on Friday. Yes, I do. I'm looking at my calendar right now. And I'm like, what? <laughs> um, I have to wake up at 8 a.m. and then I stay till 11:45 and then I go back at 1 to 4:30 on every single day, every single day next week, except for the weekends. Cause yeah, my Sunday and Saturday are we don't do anything on weekends, but. Yeah, that's pretty much how my life has been this past week. Um, I'm extremely tired, but yeah. <laughs> and halfway through the week, I was like, okay, I'm wearing tank tops every day and pants every day, but my hair is going to start annoying me. So I started putting my hair up, and like, I never put my hair up, so it's like really complicated to do that. But I've been putting my hair up, and I've been good, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this 16 minute video about Bandcamp. Um, I should post another video on my second channel today, hopefully, maybe. Um, and I'll see you later, Roskinators. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I love you guys. I forgot that. <laughs> Sorry. I've, I'm really out of it. <laughs> see you later, Roskinators.